Hello and welcome to mailbag number six. You guys seem to like this segment, so I guess I'm gonna keep on doing it. I don't have a whole lot of parts to go through today, but I'm gonna show you what I got and a couple of project plans. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into it. First off, I've got these guys, and these are just banana jacks, so nothing too special. It looks like a bunch of them have kind of came unscrewed and gone everywhere. But these are fairly cheap, just little uh, banana connectors like that. And I also have the male ones for these. This should go into here, just like so. It makes a fairly decent connection. So the male banana plugs actually look like they're uh, gold plated. The inside of these aren't, but I don't think that's gonna be too critical. I'm just hoping that these things are going to be thick enough to the point where they can handle about 10 amps worth of current or so. So the plan with these parts is to build a little box for my multimeter here. This is the Mushi meter and it's more of a data logger than it is a multimeter but it does send the live data of what's going on over Bluetooth to a smartphone or a tablet and it's actually a pretty precise and accurate little meter. But the cool thing with it is that you can actually measure voltage and amperage at the same time. So what I'm planning to do is make a little box for this guy that allows me to take an XT60 connector on the input and an XT60 connector on the output. So I just plug in this box and then I can plug in an XT60 connector in, then one going out, and have this thing measure the voltage and current going through it. Now the plan for that is to put these guys on a box, on a 3D printed box, have them mounted in there properly, and then have all the wiring done inside the box, and I'll essentially just connect them together like that. So then I'll just have the ability to put things like this into the meter, and then slide that box over the top of it, plug in the XT60s. Should make a pretty convenient little uh, voltage and current monitoring system for uh, lithium batteries and the uh, well, all, anything that has an XC60 connector on it. Of course, this only goes up to uh, about 10 amps, so you gotta be kind of careful with that. But that should actually work out pretty well, I think. All right, so I thought it'd also be useful to have a set of banana leads because I don't actually have any kind of just banana to banana leads like this. So these are like one meter long banana leads just male to male, and they're also the uh, kind where you can stack them into each other like that. And I'm thinking this might be useful because I've got this power supply here with the uh, banana jack slash binding post on the front, so I can go in like that. And then I can run that over to my breadboard, which also has binding post on it, and use that to uh, get power into it. It'd be a little bit cleaner than the alligator clip setup, I think. And I can also just use these for whatever else I happen to need banana jack leads like this for. And these feel like they're pretty nice. I forget what uh, what the gauge of the wire is, but they are silicone. I think they're rated to handle like 10 amps or something like that. So a little bit more beefy than the uh, alligator clips that I have. All right, so another thing is this thermal couple. And I bought this one specifically because for some reason I seem to be having a hard time finding a thermal couple that's actually meant for a multimeter. So in other words, a thermal couple that has this kind of uh, spacing on it. So what I did was I just got one with an adapter that has that type of input for a multimeter. So from now on I can just buy really cheap thermal couples and plug them into this and use that. Little bead was kind of bent over there. I hope that's okay. It should be. But anyway, new thermal couple there. I seem to kill these things every once in a while, so I decided to go ahead and pick up another one. All right, and last but not least, we have this bag, which is actually sealed shut. Which we're just going to go ahead and open up here. All right, so these are the STM32 Arduino development board things. So these are oftentimes referred to as the blue pill boards. And I have another one around here somewhere, right here. 
So I've actually been attempting to program this thing just using a normal uh, USB to serial interface because supposedly that's possible, but I am not having any luck getting this to work. So what I've done is I've gotten, just in case this was the problem, I went ahead and went on Amazon and I bought this little kit, which is two more of the STM32 microcontroller uh, boards along with this guy. All right, so this little guy is the ST-Link V2 programmer. So you can see there we've got uh, STM8 and STM32. This is more than likely a knockoff of the ST-Link uh, programmer, but it should hopefully still work. And we've got the pins on the back side there and then your uh, programming cable. And so hopefully I can get one of these things to program off of this guy. All right, so I think I got this figured out now, and it seems as though our biggest issue is actually the fact that this board doesn't want to respond for some reason. It'll sit here doing this little blinking pattern with the uh, ST-Link uh, programmer for quite some time. It'll eventually come up and it'll say core is held in reset, and it won't let it actually program. But taking one of the new ones and also I know as soon as I unhook this it instantly comes up with an error so it is trying to do something it recognizes that it's there but it's not actually letting it do anything but if I plug this guy in and I try to program it give it a second here to compile everything this should actually program and there we go, we now have a blinking green LED down here on the, what would be the equivalent of the pin 13 LED on an Arduino. So I can indeed program these off of the little ST link. I had to go to ST's website to get the driver for this thing, but uh, it is working now. So I should be able to start messing with these little blue pill development boards in the near future. So those are today's mailbag items. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, and I'll see you next one, guys. Bye.